While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Hey, sister, come here. What's your name? Janet Wagner. Yes. Say it again. Janet. Come over here, Janet. You just lost your son. I'm sorry to hear that. Come on. Check this out. I want you to read this out. You from Chicago? How long you been here? Your whole life, right? You seen it all. You seen a lot. You seen a lot come. You seen a lot go. I want you to look at the sign. Read that sign. One of these names is the names that our father gave us. And this is the name or the curse that has been put upon us. Which one would you say you are? Are you American black? Okay, what was your father? Your father was black, so you are American black. Because the scriptures say you are whatever your father is. So you're from the tribe of Judah. You understand that? We teaching our people love. We teaching them what love truly is. Nobody has ever had love talk to them according to the Bible. Right. People always say, I love you. I, what is love, sis? Is love a feeling or an emotion? It's an emotion. A lot of people say, I love you, and then they'll turn around, hit you in the head, and put you out on the street. And go on to the next sister. Is that love? Do God love us that way? Does he hit us in the head and say, go on, get out of the street, and never deal with us no more? No, let's read what love is. She wasn't here when we was reading love. Read. Second John 6, and this is love, listen sis, and this is love, that we walk after his commandments, and his, this is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. You shall walk in it. Come here sis, we haven't been walking in the love. What did the scripture just say the love was? Read it again. And this is love. That we walk after his commandments. That we walk after his commandments. That's love. Give me the commandments. Give me the commandments. Read. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Has the churches taught our sisters that? To walk in modest apparel? Do you know what modest apparel is, sister? Modest apparel. So apparel is going into the things that you put on your body. Right? So apparel is clothing. Modest is a description of that type of clothing. Clothing. The description of modest entails not revealing. Right? Wearing things that don't um, accentuate your breasts. Or that don't reveal your thighs. That's modest apparel. Have you been taught that in the church? Have you ever went to the church in your life? You have. But you've never heard that. Read. Verse 9. In like manner also. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So just like the men are supposed to be modest, when you're supposed to be walking around here in tank top showing and flexing and trying to entice sisters with the way we look, likewise our princesses must do the same thing. You ever, you ever heard of the fake princesses over in Europe? How do the fake princess or the fake queen in Europe dress? How do they dress? Covered up because they know they are and they mind royalty. That's right. Royalty is not supposed to uncover themselves. Right. That's not royal. Everybody out here is doing that. But you Bring set aside, you're special, you're different, you're above all nations. Give me uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Because what we want to do is we want to teach you the laws of God. We want to teach you what was not taught to us so that we can break the continued cycle. That's right. The cycle of violence in our neighborhoods. We shouldn't have to be subject to these things. That's right. And to you who are troubled, rest with you. You are troubled. Our people are troubled. We suffer with gang violence. We suffer with rape. We suffer with prostitution. We suffer with drugs. We suffer with alcoholism. We suffer. The Lord said what to them? And to you who are troubled. You are troubled. Do what? Rest with us. Rest with us. We're teaching our sisters how to come out of poverty, poverty mindsets. We're teaching our brothers how to come out of a hellish mindset. That's right. If I could teach every brother how to love each other, there'd be no more violence. That's right. right. The jails are shut down right now. That's right. The more wouldn't be as rich and impact as it is right now. Bring it out. Read. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. 
Because the Lord coming back. Contrary to popular belief, the Lord is coming back. A lot of our people say, when he coming back? When is he coming back? He ain't coming back until you get yourself together. That's right. That's why we are out here on the corners everywhere in the world, not just here. We in New York. We in England. We in Spain. We in Africa. We everywhere. Teaching in Japan, in Germany, in Russia. We are teaching across the United States for our people to come together. That's right. And to learn the love of God. So that what? So that that day when Christ comes back, we ready. How would it be if Christ cracked the sky right now and our sisters are dressed in modesty? Right. He gonna be like, I know, I don't know you. You're not coming to this promised rest that I have for you. You gotta do your part. And part of doing your part is also teaching those around you. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Read verse 5. Verse 5. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. You go that love again. Love is an action. All we've been reading is action. You say you want something, you say you do something, you say you love, you gotta show that. This is how you show it, read. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. With all thy soul, with all thy heart, and with all thy might. You know what that means, sister? With everything you got. Don't give up. You still living, you still breathing. Your life belongs to God. That's right. Everything about you belongs to God. That's right. It does not belong to this world. Right. You don't want that no more. Killing that starts with you killing the old man. You killing them old faults. You with everything you got, as hard as it may seem, to follow the Lord. Read. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So the thing you learn today, teach it to your children. There's still hope for you, sister. You're not too old. We're not too old. Too much time hasn't passed yet. Too much time has passed when you're laying in your deathbed. You can't prove then that you're worthy. Prove it now where you walk in. Why you still got your mind, sister? Read. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. And when thou... Teach them to who? And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. If you have any other children, sister, you have to reveal the word of God to them. That's right. You have to reveal to them that our people have been lied to. You have to reveal to them that this is Caesar Borgia. You have to reveal to them that this... It's not Jesus. Yes, you have to reveal to them that you've been lied to so much that you just accept the words out of men's mouth. And the words out of men's mouth tell you you can sin, 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 and then in the end, claim Jesus, and then that's it. No, that's not love. That's not how you get repentance. That's not how you prove God that you love him. You teach the truth. Who is this? You ever heard this information before? Describing who he is? Who is he? He a baby. Read the scripture that's underneath there. You know what made you say that? Yeah. Your programming. Your programming made you say that. The Bible said that that's Christ. That's right. Revelation chapter 1 and 14 tells you the truth. Bring it out. We've never been told the truth of the Bible. We think the black man is the devil. Right. He may act like the devil. He may have been told by the devil. But the black man is not the devil. That's you right. Hispanics, you are not the devil. Right. You Native Indians. You are not the devil. Bring it out. You are the children of God. That's right. You gotta come back to your understanding of who you are, of how to love, of how to teach your children this love. Or if not, it's gonna be another funeral in 15 minutes. Read. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Teach the laws of God to your children, sisters. Teach them who they are according to the Bible, sister. That's right. Read. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. When you're in the house, sit with your children concerning the laws of God. Concerning what you see in the earth today as it relates to the Bible. Teach your children. Read. And when thou walkest by the way. And when you walk by the way, just like you're doing right now. You're hearing the word of God. You're seeing examples. Teach your children. Or if you don't teach them, somebody else is going to mislead them. Education is your burden to bear. Right. Yours and yours alone, not the Chicago public school system. That's right. 
That is your responsibility. You made these children, you teach them so that we further our nation. We fell apart as a nation because we didn't teach our children. We taught them emotion, we taught them feeling. We taught them somebody disrespect you, you get, get back. That's not how we were supposed to be. Sometimes altercations more than likely come from a misunderstanding. Right. And if you've been taught how to spot what a misunderstanding is, you can teach your children how to talk through the misunderstanding. That's right. And not to rely on weapons. Read. And when thou right and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So all day, teach your children. Every opportunity you get, teach your children. It's time to break the cycle. It's time to come from the negative mindset that we have been in, thinking that we're less than gods on earth. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.